My goal is to go through and have Florence completely covered and blanketed so that every bit of information you could possibly need about our area is provided to you the moment that you click. I am Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, and let's don't waste any more time. Let's dive right in and take a look at the data. And let's start with the not so fun, but really relative information. Let's look at the size of the county, the city, as far as square mileage and population. About 140,000 people in the county, but the city is about 40,000 people. And we do have a video on this channel for potential investors that are searching out there, trying to source out information that talks about population growth and growth trends in Florence over the last 20 years plus. So if you're interested in that, you can check that video out. 804 square miles for the county and the city just over 23 square miles. And so to put it in much more practical terms, you know, my sons typically have uh, basketball practices on the opposite side of town that we live on. And sometimes I will complain about that. But being familiar with other cities and other places, it's really foolish of me to do so because the gist of what you need to take away is it's maybe a 15 minute drive to get from one side of the city to the other, of course, barring red lights and traffic. And so truly one of my favorite things about living in Florence is commuting even though we may complain about it sometimes here compared to other places is much easier and much simpler than places you guys may be coming from. Okay. So the next thing that we want to look at, and this is one of the key things, this, this actually is the reason for the explosion of development that we've seen in Florence, South Carolina, since I was a child. So I'm intimately connected with this area. I have been some other places, but I've lived in Florence for over 30 years. I know this place like the back of my hand and I've watched its growth from the early or from the late eighties to what it is now. And the trends are, are pointing towards more growth. And we'll talk a little bit about that here in a minute, but the reason why there's been so much investment in our area is what you're looking at right here. Florence, South Carolina is essentially the midway point on I-95 between New York city and Miami, Florida. And so it's a huge rest stop destination. I mean, when you're coming down 95 or going up 95, especially when you're coming through South Carolina, there's not a lot of places to stop that are very attractive. And so if any of you have traveled 95 up and down the East Coast, making those trips from New York down or from Florida up to Pennsylvania, whatever the case may be, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's not a lot of super attractive options of places to stop for hotels or to get something to eat, stop to the restroom, whatever, you know, stop at the convenience store, whatever the case may be. For, for a large stretch coming down through North Carolina and then as you come through South Carolina, Florence is the place. And so it's been advantageous. And so a city that started off being able to gain an industry due to its railroad connections, really in modern times, it's this right here that you're looking at. It's this interstate junction right here. This is the beginning point of I-20 or the end, depending on how you look at it. And so I-95 runs adjacent to the west side and northern part of Florence, as you can see here. And that leaves for a lot of different areas of industry and business. And so we saw the hotel industry really explode over the last 20 years in a couple of different places at these exits at I-95, particularly right here on West Lucas Street. Super convenient for travel. You hop right on the interstate and your trip has begun. And this is something that we have that no one else in our state can boast. And maybe that's not a big deal to you, but if you travel, especially for business or going back to see family, frequent trips back to the hometown or just for recreation, whatever the case may be, yes, this is very convenient and it is an advantage that we have that no one else has. Another really important thing to point out with Florence is the surrounding areas. So I want to point this out to you because this is another one of the big advantages that we have in Florence that I really value and appreciate as a local and as a native. So on one shot of the map, which is so cool about this, I can pull up Charlotte, Columbia, Charleston, and Myrtle Beach. And you're roughly an hour out from each. Charlotte's a little bit more. Columbia's about a one hour drive. I've made this drive, having spent five years of my childhood in Columbia, I've made this trip down I-20, I don't even know how many times, countless times. So one hour drive, it becomes like a hop, skip, and a jump after you do it a few times. Myrtle Beach is going to be slightly over an hour and the same thing with Charleston. And so in less than two hours time, really less than an hour and a half, pretty much, you can be at any one of these cities. And I didn't even mention Fayetteville. If you want to go to Division I uh, sporting events, 
The University of South Carolina is an hour away. You can go see SEC football games under the lights. That's always really fun, regardless of what team you're a fan of. Obviously, we have the best women's basketball program in America, ongoing a current dynasty. If you want to go watch that and be part of that history, you could go right up the road, take the kids to a game. Likewise, of course, the Charlotte Hornets and the Carolina Panthers are going to be just up the road in Charlotte. So you can easily get up on a Sunday morning and go to a Panthers game and come back home. I mean, granted, anytime you go to a major sporting event, you got traffic, you might just want to get a hotel up there. But I'm just saying that if you wanted to do that, practically you could. Now, of course, we have a historic racetrack in Darlington Raceway right here. Myrtle Beach is right down the road. So in the summertime, when it gets hot down here in the south, you're going to want to take beach trips. There's a lot of food options down in Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach obviously has a lot to offer. Uh, Surfside, Myrtle's Inlet, Pauly's Island, everything down there. And of course, Charleston is a historic city and it's not that far away. So you have all these options. You can make a day trip and hit any one of these cities, whether it be for shopping, for food, to go to the beach, to go to a sporting event, whatever the case may be. That's a really great advantage about the strategic location of Florence that, again, that specific connection to all four of those places, five if you want to count Fayetteville, there's no other market that compares to ours that offers that in South Carolina. So that's another big thing that you might want to think about and consider. Now I'll use that as a segue over to events in Florence. What does Florence have to offer? In November, we had the Florence Pecan Festival downtown. That's always a really good time. A lot of vendors come out, all kinds of food and music. We just finished the Florence Food and Wine Festival, which is an annual event, which has really started to gain a lot of steam. I was able to attend that. And again, vendors come in from all over the place, all kinds of great food. We have the Francis Marion Performing Arts Center, which has all kinds of events. And you can see here on this list, these are just upcoming. Uh, the Florence Food Truck Festival, the plan for me is going to be to attend that and to to get some footage for y'all to vlog that event, not only so you can see what it's like, but what people really come here and care about a lot on this channel is we want to review the food. We want to see the food. Uh, we do have the Florence Center, so you can see that Zach Williams is coming to the Florence Center in a couple of weeks. And so we have a lot of events there. The Harlem Globetrotters come through once a year. There's all kinds of concerts that go on. And so there's a lot of events and festivals and things that take place uh, particularly downtown in Florence. And there's a lot of effort being put forth by different investors in our area to develop this part of our local community and culture. And I'm going to use that as a segue over to the downtown development. There have been tens of millions of dollars that have gone into downtown development over the last 10 to 15 years. And that's just increasing. There's a $4 million plus project underway right now. There's $60 million worth of development that's set to close. And I think 2025 is the target date. All right. So the last two things I want to point out that I think will be very helpful for viewers like yourself that are considering our area, especially if you're not familiar with our area at all, are housing options and some of the development and in industry that's happening. So the AESC battery plant project is a really big subject and topic in our area right now. It's going to add well over a thousand jobs and that investment, they've just continued to increase it. And so the most recent expansion, as you can see here, is taking it to over a three billion dollar project. These batteries are for electric vehicles that are going in vehicles that are being manufactured in upstate South Carolina. And so when you combine that with affordability, with amenities, with the different access points that we just looked at to other places, you really want to consider Florence. And so if you are, I can tell you that there are around 15 new housing developments, new construction developments that are under construction right now at this time in 2024. So there is a lot of residential development that is going on to match the development and growth that we're looking at in this video. But what I really want to recommend you to do, if you have interest in our area, especially after hearing and seeing all of these things, is go to this playlist. And we've already started making our way into looking at Florence as a whole breaking it all the way down. We're going to start with sections, breaking it all the way down by neighborhood. And so that as you're shopping, before you even come into the market, perhaps before you even call a real estate agent, you already have a really good idea of cost of neighborhoods, features of neighborhoods, geographic location, uh, and surrounding amenities of neighborhoods, all of that stuff. My goal is to go through and have Florence completely covered and blanketed so that every bit of information you could possibly need about our area is provided to you the moment that you click 
And whether you hire me as your real estate agent or not, I believe that by me providing and adding value to you is a win-win for everybody. And so with that said, if you agree with me, subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on so that you can see the content as it's being released. And please like the video and leave a comment. It helps the channel to grow and that helps me to be able to stay available to actually put this stuff together and get these videos out to you guys. And we do have big plans. I really would like to thoroughly showcase our area and brag about our area to the country and let them know that Florence is a destination that you want to live in. Florence is a place that you would like to come to. And we do have a lot to offer here. And we're very proud of our hometown. And we think that if you move here as time passes, you would be too. And so with that being said, as always, if you're already looking to make a move, please reach out to me. You can call me or text me or send me an email anytime. I would love to talk with you and set up a complimentary buyer's consultation or a complimentary home valuation so that we can price your home accurately, get it on the market and get it sold for the top dollar that it's worth and make your real estate transaction as seamless and painless as possible. And with that being said, I look forward to hearing from y'all. I wish you all the best in your real estate endeavors. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.